Wagwanichi Fikare, welcome to today's Destiny video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you this week's best vendor weapon. But just before we start, I would like to say, if you do enjoy the video, find it informative in any way, a positive rating is always appreciated. And if you want more content from me, don't forget to subscribe for more. But anyway, let's jump in. Make your way over to the Vanguard Quartermaster, and take a look at the Pulse Rifle stocking, the Parthian shot. Let's take a look at the perks. So in terms of scopes, you have the OEG Rifle Scope, the Steady Hand IS Sight, and the MD Reflex Sight. In terms of perks, we have Rodeo, Feeding Frenzy, Lightweight, Handlaid Stock, and finally Counterbalance. So for this archetype of pool shovel, stability perks are perfect, and that's exactly what this weapon has. With counterbalance, handlaid stock, rodeo, and the steady hand IS sight, this weapon is a god roll. I can't think of any better perks this weapon could have. But how well does this god roll actually perform? Well, let's find out. So in terms of PvE, the weapon is pretty average. It's an average PvE primary. It's good for activities like strikes and story missions, but outside of that, in harder activities like the raid or nightfalls, I probably wouldn't use this weapon. Although the high impact and high stability mean you can consistently get good precision hits on a boss, dealing lots of damage, there are lots of better options out there. Any of the raid primaries like that will do a lot better than this, so I can't really recommend it here. But where I can recommend this weapon is in PvP. The high impact of this pulse rifle means you have the potential to two-tap the enemies you're facing. And I'm not going to lie to you, this doesn't happen with every engagement, and it will take a little bit of learning for you to be able to two-tap regularly. But it's a lot easier than it sounds. The combination of stability perks on this weapon mean it is so easy to consistently land headshots, which means you will see your enemies melt, and if you learn to master this weapon, you will dominate. Now of course, at closer ranges, the slow rate of fire of this weapon means you will often get outgunned by weapons like the palindrome. But if you learn to keep your enemies at arm's length at medium to long range, then you will wipe them out before they even know you're there. I would highly recommend this weapon if you're willing to learn. If not, this weapon probably isn't for you, and that's okay. The palindrome is really good this week, go pick that up. But if you are willing to learn, then you will see the benefits of this weapon. You will see that it can compete with the best weapons in the game. And not only that, it's extremely fun to use, so that's why I would recommend you spend your marks on this weapon this week. But on that note, that's about it for today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed, if you did don't forget to leave a like down below, and if you're feeling extra generous, sharing this video goes a very long way, it does in fact help my channel grow. If you want more from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one, oh, bye bye.